Okay, so I told you I'd give you 20 bucks. So it's recording. Where's your 20 bucks? So just say whatever you want to say and say it into the camera. But what I want to know uh, is, uh, are you homeless? Yes, sir. So, uh, so are you are you on the street or in a car? I'm on the street. So, do you like sleep in a tent? Um, I was staying in a tent until my tent was feeling busy, but I was staying in a friend's tent, so yes, in a tent. So, does the government, do they buy people tents, or do they give you rooms in motels, or what do they do to help? I don't know about the rooms in motels, but I know that they've got a, uh, they do have a program that they're helping people get tents. I, I think I think they were doing something like as far as motel rooms for a minute, but I'm not sure I didn't really look into that. But I know that there are some uh, there's some uh, can't remember exactly where there is a program out there and stuff people get tents. So I haven't seen you around here before. There is a guy that's here almost every day that's that 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 pan handles. So do you do you just have a regular place or you just happen to be here or how does that work? Um, this is like one of my somewhat regular places, but I just kind of just, you know, just kind of like, like either here, um, down towards Twin Cove, all the way up to, uh, like, um, the Sears, the Sears building, the old Sears building. That's um, on State Street pretty much, right? So, what, what happened how you became homeless in the first place? I had drugs and things, at least. So you got evicted, or? Yeah, yeah, and I started a counselor friend, and then just kind of got addicted to, you know, certain, like, certain drugs, and, like, I couldn't get all those drugs in downtown, and, um, I'm kind of stuck like that. So, do they have, like, drug counseling, or, or something to get you off of the drugs, and? Well, yeah, yes, yes and no, yes. Or do they give you places where you can do the drugs without getting busted? <laughs> uh, well, they, I don't know about that, but <laughs> they uh, definitely, I don't think I've got programs out there, you know, for drug addicts. Um, I was actually part of one, it was called the, uh, the EPIC program, about mental health, and um, it, was a, it was a good program, you know. It, it was, so, uh, what do you... You're not going to be like this forever, so you must have some plans about what you're going to do to get out of the rut you're in. Yeah, honestly, I was thinking about um, going. I don't know, get, get, getting back on my feet to get like my ID and stuff, my ID and my stuff like that, and then um, going and getting um, I don't know, some temp service. You know I mean, like welding, something like that. Because welding, I'm like, I don't know very much. I don't know how to weld. But I know a little bit of painting and drywall from the job court, so I can do that. So, do you have family around here? Or? Yeah. So they could help you probably? Yeah, I just have been really bothered, you know, to call my well, mom too much just because I don't want to really call on a phone again until I you know. But I think once I get my own phone again, I can stay in touch with it, you know. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to make this video. And so uh, I hope you have a good day.